Two years ago, this snow survey team hiked in running shoes up to this very spot in California's Sierra Nevada. This year, they're on skis. It's been amazing. <laughs> um, unprecedented. The team found deep snow containing nearly double the water content of an average year. Near record snowfall like this is why Governor Jerry Brown declared an end to the drought emergency. Despite newer technologies, including satellites and airplane mounted lasers, trekking on skis to measure snow at regular intervals is still one of the most accurate ways to determine how much runoff will flow from the mountains. We've been measuring more in the like 50, close to 50 percent. So the snow is half water. Surveyors have been measuring snowpack this way for more than a century. It's a connection felt by the crew at night when they rest in historic cabins. The log books go way back and it's always um, interesting to get into a cabin, you pull out the old log book and read about what they were measuring back in the 60s and earlier. To get to the high country for the last reading of the season, the crew battled high winds and snow one day. followed by sunny blue skies the next. Okay. It's both a job and an adventure. I put in for annual leave ahead of time for when the uh, survey windows are, and this is my vacation. Their work helps forecasters determine how much water will be available to cities, farms, and for hydroelectricity. And during high snow years, helps dam operators know how much water to store and how much to let go to prevent flooding. Right now, they still need us to do, to do ground truthing for the depth, but also to measure the density. Ensuring crews continue this tradition to confirm and verify readings taken with new technology. Brian Melly in California's High Sierra Nevada, Associated Press.